Hi everybody, Miss Collins here with a video, a little short podcast to get you going on uh, an assignment to give you an overview of what's possible in Photoshop. It's going to be quick, it's going to be simple, you're going to be confused maybe if you haven't done a lot of work on the computer, but we're not going to leave anybody behind. Ask a lot of questions, ask us to slow down if the directions are going too fast, but we're going to get you through it and you'll find that you'll really have some powerful tools in Photoshop. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to take a look at some artwork done by an artist named Roy Lichtenstein who was popular in the 1960s in an art style called pop art, which was a reaction to classical art like you see on my screen right here. Things that you would find in a museum. And if you think about pop art, it kind of goes with pop music, about popular culture. What do most people like, but it's not found in a museum? And if you think about it, you know, there was a time when hip-hop was kind of like this thing, crazy thing that people didn't really accept. Well, pop art was the same thing. When people first started making pop art, people were like, really, you think that's art? So let's take a look at what Roy Lichtenstein brought to art. So here's a picture of... Oh, Here's a picture of Roy, the artist that we're looking at, and here's some examples of his work that were put into museums and galleries and people thought like, oh, come on, it's just comic book stuff. What's that about? Is that really art? In fact, is it art? I'll let you decide. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to use something called Binde Dots. We're going to let Photoshop create these for you and um, create, take your photograph of you and turn it into a pop art picture. Only we're going to do a little slightly something different. A lot of people don't like to have their faces photographed, so we're going to smash it up with a piece of plexiglass so that nobody recognizes you, or maybe doesn't recognize you. You only have to make some choices here. So that's the intro. We're taking the work of Roy Lichtenstein. We're going to use some Binde dots, those little dots that make up his picture, and we're going to use Photoshop to make that all happen. Okay, so bye-bye. Stay tuned.